Deontay Smith here with Al Pops covering the FSG trials from this past weekend. And with Florida's trials wrapped up, Georgia is now in the midst of theirs. This past weekend, they were in Warner Robins, Georgia for the first time. Not knowing what to expect, team director Valister Wilson and the Georgia Future Stars program got a trial that Valister called Game Changer. Across the board, they were thrilled with what they saw. Al, talk to us a little bit about the eighth graders. Yeah, game-changing is certainly right, especially with 8th grade wide receiver, the MVP, Nigel Mann. 5'11", 160-pound receiver, ran a 4'7", 3 in the 40-yard dash, which is one of the better times for the 8th graders there. He looks like he's going to be a matchup problem for Florida all, all game long. Uh, winning the MVP make, means that he's on the team. Um, he's a big, muscular wide receiver that's going to be a mismatch all day long for Team Georgia, Deontay. Wow. Sounds like he will certainly make an impact in Warner Robins. Who else do you like in eighth grade? Yeah, a couple other standouts from the Warner Robins tryout. Uh, Roderick Smith, a 6'1", 255-pound offensive lineman. Uh, Marcus Robinson clocked at a 4'8", 3 in the 40-yard dash at 5'10", so another wide receiver with the size and the speed combination. And Carlton Daniels, another wide receiver that we like. You know, he's not the big, tall, fast guy. The numbers aren't going to blow you away. But he seems to be like he's going to be the perfect complement receiver to the other big guys that we talked about before. Now let's talk about this seventh grade group. From what we talked about earlier, this group is special, huh? Yeah, this is the group that Ballister was especially elated with uh, after he came home from the Warner Robins tryout. And it began with big Weston Franklin, a six foot, 220 pound offensive lineman. And six foot, 220, you know, that that's okay, that's decent size. But what they loved was his quickness. He was a sub four eight in the, in the shuttle. Uh, he moved around the line of scrimmage with ease, very agile for a bigger kid. And you gotta love seeing that offensive lineman win an MVP. You're right, you gotta love it. But he wasn't the only seventh grader that stood out there. Who else did you like? Yeah, you know, and another lineman that I liked was big Terrence Ferguson, a six-footer, 205. Kind of lean right now for an offensive lineman, but definitely has the long, long arms, the long legs, the frame that you can work with as an offensive tackle. So he's yet yeah, another lineman that I like. Another kid was Blake Etheridge, a quarterback slash defensive end. He shined at both positions, so you know he's got the size and the athletic ability. He might be playing on both sides of the ball come the game if he makes the team. Who knows, but he was very impressive. And then a pair of athletes that I, you know, I really liked throughout the trial was Demetrius Coleman and Jalen Rutherford, guys that you can put at running back, receiver, corner, just somebody, players that make your team more athletic overall than if they weren't on the roster. Lastly, we come to the sixth graders. Oftentimes, these kids are overlooked, but there was a certain linebacker you couldn't overlook, right? Tell yeah. me about it. Yeah, Quantavius Rutledge. There's a five foot six, hundred and thirty pound linebacker who, you know, by all accounts, was a leader on the field. You know, with linebackers, they kind of set the tone. They kind of put people where they need to be. They read the plays. They react. They get the ball quickly. That's what this kid did. He was smart. He was fast. He was physical. He rallied his teammates around him. He's exactly the type of player that the future stars want, and that's why he was the MVP. Yeah, you're right. Linebackers do definitely set the tone, and Rutledge certainly sounds like he could do that. Were there any other sixth graders that looked good to you? Yeah, there were, and we're going to stay on the defensive side of the ball in Adrian Jackson, a defensive back who was neck and neck with Rutledge to win that MVP. Uh, a good cover corner, one-on-one. -on -one. He completely blanketed receivers during uh, that portion of the tryout. He was really impressive. And then Kyrie Miller, another linebacker lining up next to Rutledge that they did well. They held down that middle of the field. Uh, also brought some physical nature. That was a little two-man touch and just be in the right position. You know, he thumped a little bit while he was there, so that was nice to see. Uh, overall, top to bottom, a great day. Future Stars tryouts for Warner Robins. Thanks, Pops. And remember, football fans, stay logged on to Youth One all all season long for news and analysis on the top football prospects in the country. For our Pops, I'm Deontay Smith. We'll see you next time.